doing a pink theme. I'm going to try all of these pink Starbucks. Bleh. I'm going to try these pink Starbucks. I'm going to try these Starbucks drinks and then I'm going to recreate them to see if you can make them better and cheaper at home. All right. So the first one we are going to try is this really famous pink drink. I see everyone on Instagram trying this and I mean, it does look really pretty. There's bits of um, strawberries. They look like fresh strawberries and coconut milk in here with their pink drink base. Let's give it a try. Okay. So I do taste the coconut milk. I also taste the strawberries, but I feel like together, to me, it kind of reminds me of Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> With the color too. Okay, so it's a strawberry acai refresher beverage with accents of passion fruit is combined with creamy coconut milk. So that's a really good description, but I always look at the ingredients. So it's ice, strawberry, acai base. It's mostly white grape juice concentrate, natural flavors, and green coffee flavor, fruit and vegetable juice. So no strawberries or acai. Coconut milk, okay, it's a coconut cream water and other stuff. And then freeze dried strawberries. I thought those were fresh strawberries. Those are freeze dried and I guess they were just rehydrated. I think we can definitely remake this one. I am gonna be using fresh strawberries. I don't have acai at home, but to give the drink that beautiful pink color, we're gonna add some raspberries and I'm gonna add it to my shaker. And then I have my muddler. We're just gonna muddle it down so it releases all the juice. Now it says there's a little bit of passion fruit. I actually don't have any passion fruit juice right now, but I do have mango juice, which provides that same tropical taste. If you guys could find passion fruit juice, go ahead and use that. Add a little bit just to give it some sweetness, a little bit of simple syrup. And then I have some of the passion tea. This is the Tazo one. Let me show you the box. This is the passion tea. I think they use this at Starbucks as well, unless they transfer to all Tivana stuff, but I'm pretty sure they used to make like Tazo passion iced tea. Regardless, that's what we're using. So I'm gonna add it into the shaker. And then they also have coconut milk. I feel like you can substitute the coconut milk for oat milk, any non-dairy milk could work. Add the strawberries in, some ice. Tap it and shake, shake, shake. It's a pretty pink color. Not quite the same as theirs, but. And my reusable Starbucks straw. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Okay, not to toot my own horn, but this is pretty good. You definitely taste the coconut flavor and the strawberry, the raspberry flavors, the fruitiness of it definitely shines through. The mango juice really helped give it that tropically flavor. It does not taste like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> okay, so the next one I have here is the violet drink. This one's pretty. I see blackberries. I wonder now if all of their fruits are freeze dried. Okay, so let's see what's in here first because I think that helps us feel out the flavors. Okay, the sweet blackberries and tart hibiscus flavor of our very berry hibiscus refresher beverage swirl together with creamy coconut milk and ice. All right, let's look at the ingredients. It's berry refresher base, again, tons of water, sugar, white grape, white grape juice concentrate, and green coffee extract. Again, no berries. Coconut milk, and then freeze-dried blackberries. Okay, so now from now on, anytime you see berries in 
a Starbucks drink. They're freeze dried, which is not terrible, I guess I would say. I guess they do last longer, but you guys could at least throw in some frozen blackberries. All right, let's try this. It's actually really good. Okay, I have an idea on how I can, how I can and will recreate this. This one, again, it has sweet blackberries and tart hibiscus flavor with some creamy coconut milk. Okay, so for the blackberries, we are gonna use frozen blackberries. I'm gonna go ahead and add it into the shaker. Okay, some simple syrup, sweeten it up, about a tablespoon. And then since there's Tart hibiscus flavor. Luckily, that Tazo Passion tea also has hibiscus. Okay. And then for the for the white grape juice concentrate, instead of using that, I'm actually gonna try it with some guava. This is a hundred percent juice blend, although this one has filtered water, pear juice concentrate, guava puree. Yeah. A little bit of coconut milk. Whoa, it is starting to look kind of purple. Violet, some ice. Shake it up. For any bartenders out there, am I supposed to pour it in with the ice first or like pour it out the liquid? I don't know. Mm. Mm. It's very licious. The blackberries with the guava flavor is very balanced. Let me see if it tastes kind of the same. Mm. This one's way better. This just tastes like real fruit juice with tea and coconut milk, whereas that just tastes kind of synthetic. Okay, next up, this one's a really popular one as well on Instagram. It's the Green Dragon Drink. What's it called? The Dragon Drink. This The GR is... The GR stands for Grande, okay. The tropical inspired pick-me-up crafted with a refreshing combination of sweet mango, dragon fruit flavors, is handshaken with creamy coconut milk, ice, and a scoop of real diced dragon fruit. Like what if you didn't like coconut milk though? Let me guess, sweet mango and dragon fruit flavors, freeze-dried dragon fruit, and white grape juice concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> Water, sugar, white grape juice concentrate, natural flavors, and green coffee flavor. Coconut milk and then mm. freeze dried dragon fruit pieces. This one's actually really good. I do taste more of that pronounced grape juice flavor. I don't know, I, I, I mean, I don't think dragon fruit tastes like this, but I definitely feel like it's a grape juice mix. It's good though. I do have to say, if you look at the texture, I just got this maybe 10 minutes ago, but if you look at the texture, it's getting kind of curdly. Uh, we're gonna start with some frozen dragon fruit. This is probably half a cup, add it in. Oh, look at that color. A tropical inspired pick me up with a combination of sweet mango and dragon fruit flavors. We're going back to the mango juice. I got this at Sprouts. They come in a four pack for like $5. Super convenient. Let's see what's in here. Do, 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 do. 100% mango juice. No white grape juice concentrate here. Fill it up. So in this one, they actually don't have any teas. I mean, unless you count natural green coffee flavor, but in going with the green caffeine theme, I'm gonna use some green tea that I've already brewed. If you wanna leave the green tea out, you certainly can. But I'm gonna add a little bit. A tiny little bit of simple syrup, which is just equal parts sugar and water. And then, of course, coconut milk. <gasps> so pretty! All right, so one of the things worth mentioning before when I criticized how the dragon fruit and the coconut milk layer was separating and curdling, the same thing is actually happening to mine. So maybe coconut milk doesn't jive well with dragon fruit, I'm not sure. But we'll change that by shaking it all up and making it become one. Mm. 
This dragon fruit does not taste like that dragon fruit. This one, I don't know why, but it just reminds me of my time in Thailand where I had my first dragon fruit. Mm. This is bringing back lots of memories right now, but it is delicious. I love it with the mango juice as well. And it just, again, tastes very tropically and unique. I mean, I've never had dragon fruit drink before, but this is really, really good. Actually, if you wanna go super wild, you can even add a hint of lychee or lychee syrup in here, and that would be out of this world. I think I'm gonna make that in one of the next videos. So I have to tell you guys, I was quite sad because my favorite Starbucks drink that I tried last year, the white tea guava, the white tea guava tea, iced tea, the white guava iced tea, <laughs> I remember. They discontinued it and they swapped the white tea out for black tea. So I haven't tried the new one yet. Hopefully it's good, but the white tea was just so good. It's very simple. It's not bad. The white tea was better. I don't know why they discontinued it. Boldly flavored iced tea made with a combination of our guava flavored fruit juice blend and Tivana iced black tea and hand shaken with ice. Like it should be as simple as black tea and guava juice, right? It's probably just white grape juice concentrate again. We're gonna make it my way and my favorite way where they had it last year, white tea. So I'm gonna actually change things a little bit. I'm gonna crush or muddle up some strawberries to give it some extra flavor. Technically, I could have done this all in one cup, but that's okay. And then to give it that brightness, I'm gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice. Just go ahead and muddle it. So with the addition of the strawberries, the lemon juice, a little bit of simple syrup, it almost gives it a hint of like strawberry lemonade flavors to it, except now I'm gonna hit it with some guava juice. So you want equal parts guava and tea. Some white tea. Of course, if you guys really like the black tea, you can add that too. But I just feel like this is a little more delicate and white tea tends to have less caffeine. So it's just better in the afternoons. <laughs> some ice. Shaken iced tea just looks and I feel like it just tastes better. There's just no comparison. This one wins by far. You taste the guava in there and the iced tea or the white tea is so delicate. It's very balanced with that squeeze of lemon in there. It just really brightens everything up and it's super refreshing, not too sweet. My favorite. Yep, nailed it. Here are my recreations of Starbucks popular, famous pink drinks. I mean, pink colored drinks. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have tried any of these drinks before from Starbucks and what you thought of them. And if you guys do, try out my recipes, which you can find in the description uh, box below. Let me know how you liked it. Tag me on Instagram at Honeysuckle. And don't forget to hit that like button if you guys wanna see more Starbucks recreations of your favorite drinks. Let me know what you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.